behold. This is the Armaspeed carbon fiber cold air intake, uh, which I'm so stoked to finally do a review or an, an install and a review video of it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, there's quite a few that know me over on Instagram. Uh, my handle is mdreamin, and at least at the time of this shooting, there's about 56,000 of you over there that'll know me. Um, but today we're gonna install this cold air uh, carbon fiber intake system. And I haven't seen a lot of people do reviews of um, cold air intakes. They talk a lot about, you know, the swoosh sounds that you get from the intake, um, the engine bay enhancement that you get with all this carbon fiber, but none talk about the cold air part. So, so why cold air? Why is Armor Speed touting cold air specifically or anybody else? Well, the idea is simple. Uh, cold air has a greater density of oxygen than warmer air. So if you're shoving a bunch of air into an engine for a given, say, cubic foot of air, Colder air is gonna have more oxygen. That's gonna give you some uh, more complete combustion. Um, theoretically, if the O2 sensor picks up on some of that increased density of oxygen, it might give some more fuel, which, you know, you get more power. So that's the idea behind cold air. And it's actually uh, these two pieces here and these two big flat pieces, this gorgeous carbon fiber. These are the pieces that will theoretically provide the cold air component of, of this system. Um, when it comes to aftermarket carbon fiber intakes or any kind of intake system. A lot of people on like the BMW forums will say, it doesn't do anything for performance. Um, if you really want performance, uh, just take the standard air boxes from the factory, drop in some BMC filters, and of course take out the other paper filters, and there you go. Let's put that to the test. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. A lot of people that get these aftermarket intakes talk about the performance gains that they get from them, and since my G82 upstairs uh, actually has the stock air boxes and BMC drop-ins. This will be a perfect comparison. Um, we'll find out when I do some uh, driving reviews whether or not this intake system really does offer some you know, performance benefits. All right, uh, enough chatter. Let's get this thing installed uh, in my carport upstairs so we can see what it looks like in the engine bay. All right, here we are. You can see the Behemoth S58 engine. This thing is a freaking beast. Um, so to get, this is the stock air boxes, air tubes. We got to get those things out of here. Uh, in order to get these out, uh, we got to get, uh, the engine cover off. And before that, we got to get the strut brace off. So I, uh, wait, don't. <laughs> which is right and which is left. No. Really? No. Really? Oh, maybe this is it. Oh, yeah. 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 We're doing it. We're doing it. We're, we're doing it. It's working. Ah. Come on. I knew it shouldn't have put the fucking thing in there first. Now that we've got the intake on, let's look at the before footage to see how it sounded. All right, sound check time. Let's get some third gear pulls to test the uh, stock airbox and BMC drop-ins. Love that sound. Uh, 
hopefully we're gonna get some swooshy noises with the with the arm of speed. Oh my god, this is the slowest person in the whole universe. They're flashing. Oh. Alright, let's give ourselves some third gear pulls with the intake. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. The swoosh? Yeah. Oh, that does sound good. Alright, let's try fourth gear. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, that, that actually lives up to the hype. Wow, you hear it down low. You notice that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope it's... It the, sounds like you're running through water. Yeah, yeah, I hope the audio is... I, mean, I might have to adjust the, uh, the microphone or something just to get the audio. Crazy! Why doesn't the standard airbox sound like that? <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, that's more than that. I, th I thought it was going to be a little bit of swooshies, but... So what do you think? Wasn't that cool? Those turbo sounds? It was amazing. Yeah, those clips didn't capture any of the sound. Uh, two things. One, the microphone was not near the dashboard, which is you know closer to the engine compartment. I had the microphone and then we had the audio coming in from the camera. Two, I should have rolled the windows down. Um, so, you know, I'm including those clips because those were the real reactions the first time that I'd really heard those turbo spool up. And, you know, it's kind of silly. Um, you don't really need to hear turbo noises, but if you're a car person, you do want to hear the engine. And I've had intakes before, aftermarket intakes, but they've never, I've never had one with a turbo. And man, it's just like, you feel like a kid when you start hearing this spooling noise. So I included those clips because that was how we, we re were really reacting. Now I'm going to go back out. Probably should roll the windows down this time. And uh, then, I'll, then I'll, let, let's get some clips that show what it really sounds like. All right, sound check round two. Uh, I got windows down. I got a microphone on right next to the GoPro and one here. The windows up did not show the, the you couldn't hear the sound. So the and lower RPMs is better. So here's sound check two. Let's see if uh, I think the microphone will pick it up. <laughs> I hope that's being picked up. It's so try down low. It's so freaking fun to hear it. Like. I mean, you buy an internal combustion engine because you want to hear the engine, you know? Or at least if you're a car enthusiast and you like internal combustion engines, you, you want to hear it. So instead of just hearing exhaust, it's like I can hear, you know, the actual turbo spooling up and the like air rushing in. It's, uh, it, it, it definitely, I was kind of skeptical, but it definitely makes the driving experience a little better. Um, on the power side, uh, on the power side, it's um, there's a probably a tiny bit of improvement that it's given to uh, to pick up, but I didn't expect a big change. I already had BMC drop-ins. Uh, the BMW air boxes are good, uh, by you know right out of the factory, and so I wasn't expecting a huge improvement, and I didn't get a huge improvement. But I've also been told that these things, uh, these kinds of air intakes, work better if you've got a car that's tuned. Uh, now mine's not tuned yet but uh i think when i do tune it um it's gonna be you know i think that the uh this is gonna be a much more noticeable boost to power uh, or at least that's what i hope <laughs> i hope there aren't any sheriff around here <laughs> damn Between a cold air carbon fiber and 
carbon fiber or not, it looks beautiful. But cold air intake like this, it's like you get noises at the bottom end of the RPM range, and then by the time you get into the mid RPM range, that starts to fade, it starts to hear exhaust. So it's like with these kinds of systems, it's you know, slight exhaust modifications, like you get just a better driving experience uh, throughout the entire RPM range. Before it was kind of dead down below. It was like, okay, the car is spooling up, but I couldn't really hear anything. It was like I was waiting for the exhaust to kick in. Now I get badass noises 